AITA for laughing in my mother's friend's face when she told me to go to my room. I. 25. F. Don't speak to my mother. Like at all. I had to go to my mother's house today to pick up an important document that I left behind when I moved out seven years ago. As soon as I got to the house, my mother suddenly had a massive emergency and realized that it was apparently her friend's funeral today and she completely forgot about it. I couldn't help but internally roll my eyes, as there is always some drama hence why I have gone no, very low contact. She asked me if I would watch my two younger brothers, 7 and 11, whilst she went to the funeral. And I said absolutely not. As it's my only day off, I have plans. And I have no relationship with them due to my mother stopping them from seeing me for years. I just wanted to get my birth certificate and leave. My mother asked her friend if she would babysit and asked me to stay for 10 minutes until her friend came. I didn't even get the opportunity to say no before my mother left the house. I was seething but resolved to wait 10 minutes. My mother's friend turned up and started berating me for not agreeing to look after my brothers. Whilst my mother went to the funeral, I said, I don't have anything to do with my mother. It's my day off work, and I'm under no obligation to look after anyone else's children. My mother's friend then told me to go to my room. I laughed in her face and started to leave the house. And she asked me where I was going. And I told her, my room, at my apartment, that I pay for with my big girl job. Because I'm an adult, not a child. And don't ever speak down to me like that again. And I left. My mother has left me loads of messages and missed calls saying I'm in awe for the way I spoke to. Her friend. I do admit I look kinda young but I still am not happy with the way my mother's friend spoke to me. AITA? NTA the audacity to try and send someone else's adult child to their room. I would have laughed too. I may be ta because my mother's friend didn't know me and may have genuinely thought I was a minor. As I do look very young for my age. It really wouldn't matter. You're NTA now and you'd have been NTA if you had been a minor, she had no business speaking to. You that way regardless. The fact that adults can quite often get away with behaving badly towards children because children don't usually have the ability to do what you did here doesn't mean that their behavior is good. It just means they can get away with it. She behaved like an ass. And you spanked her. NTA. I actually quite admire your refusal to get drawn in. I think you handled it pretty well. Sounds like you mum was misleading her friend. Sounds like the friend had been told you were being mean not helping out with your little brothers. Suspect she missed out the fact that you don't live there and barely know the boys because she denied you a relationship with them. NTA. LOL about going to your room. For future reference, you can get your birth certificate at the city hall in the city you were born in. You didn't need to go to your mother's house. ETA. All 50 states do not need to check in here lol. Let me rephrase the above to say. Check with your local government office on how to obtain your vital records. You can get replacements for them all. Absolutely NTA. Your mom's friend was very inappropriate. And there was nothing wrong with your response to her. I don't blame you for laughing. Either. NTA. In fact, I think it would have been impossible for you to respond any better. NTA you haven't talked with your mother a lot or seen your own brothers in 7 years ever. Since you've moved out. You are effectively living life on your own only coming to get important documents upon which your mother randomly thrusts responsibility onto you which you have not agreed to then leaves the home. And after 10 minutes you are then berated not by your mother but her friend like they have any right to parent you and they then try treat you a 25 year old adult as of their own child. 
That's literally insane. Enta, you handled that beautifully. NTA, you stood up for yourself appropriately. You acted like an adult speaking with another adult. Your mother is trying to treat you like a child and you're not allowing it. That's awesome. And I bet it took a while to get here after your childhood with her. Be proud. Enta, did she think you were a child, still living at your mom's? Makes me wonder what the friend has been told. NTA her friend is ridiculous for thinking she can talk to a grown ass woman like that. And ya yeah, mom is nuts. NTA I had a laugh too. So thank you. NTA. I think you handled that really well, and the best you possibly could. Lol. Did she think you were 16 or something and that you lived there and refused to babysit? Is that what your mom told her? Also, you don't suddenly forget about your friend's funeral so she probably planned this. How long did it take for her to agree to get her friend to babysit when you said no? I would have just followed her out the house. NTA. Mom's friend was condescending. You are not a child and she has no right to treat you like one. You did exactly what she said to do anyway. NTA. Although I don't think you needed to ask anybody here to know that. NTA. Your mom and her friend are both Oz. Couldn't have said what you did better myself. The awe friend was ridiculously out of line. NTA. NTA other snappy comebacks include, I haven't had a room in this house for 7 years. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.